Hello and thank you for joining me, Astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth monthly horoscope for December. Now, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please also check out my Year 2021 Special Offer Personal Horoscope Package. You can get the whole of Year 21 and also uh, the rest of Year 2020 if you order this year. Plus, you can get your character analysis, all based on your time, date and place of birth. This is going to give you searing insights. No two reports are the same. It's totally based on you, the individual. So please check that out beneath this video and there is 30% off at this time. Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your December monthly forecast. What a month it promises to be but particularly for you. After what has been such an incredibly tough year we are coming into the light. Now the light might not be a total solution to the Covid crisis but I think we are going to see a lot more enterprise coming into play and the enterprise is going to be very redolent of the energies of your sign which is about Jupiter expansion international cooperation it is going to see a speeding up if you have felt that things around your resources have been particularly brutally difficult over the last couple of years there is light at the end of the tunnel it is going to be important to marshal the resources you do have still in a cautious way, especially in the last two weeks of this year. So if you do get a desire to suddenly splash out on last minute Christmas gifts, just remind yourself, even if your finances have improved, of just how tough it has been at times, or if your money situation has been fine, how you felt about yourself. So your relationship with your own self-worth may have been profoundly affected by the combination of Jupiter, your ruler being in its worst zone, along with Saturn, the planet of restriction, and Pluto, the planet of transformation. And of course, we've seen a cataclysmic change in society because of that combination. But for you, the month begins with the sun in your sign. It's joined on the first day by Mercury. Mercury's not at its best, technically, in astrology. But I don't think we should sweat this particular detriment because Mercury, for me, in your sign is mutable still because its two rulers are both mutable in the guise of Gemini and Virgo. And it just means that your quick thinking, your uh, speed of assimilation, I just think it's wonderful that you've got Mercury there. I see it as one of those afflictions that isn't as bad as the textbooks say. Let's put it that way. Now, week two this month sees the sun in your sign start to collaborate with Mars. Yes, Mars has been in that long journey through the sector of, of enterprise and joys and pleasures and romance even. Uh, and by the time we get to the 6th of January, it will have been around about six months. And of course, it did spend that long time in retrograde. And from the 27th of July, really, there's been some really difficult moments, perhaps in your love life even, quite honestly, or perhaps you felt conflicted if you've wanted to spoil a loved one and you haven't had the resources. That's been very difficult. Or if you tried something speculative and new, it may have seemed to be blunted and not really worked quite as you would want. But as you come into this month, although there may be some re reflection going on in your love life, I think the enterprise and energy of the Sun, Mercury, and then the Sun's angle to Mars can really lift your spirits. You can really feel that things are at last speeding up, gaining momentum. Then we have a glorious solar eclipse in your sign. I can't tell you how special this is. And if you do have a personal planet around about 23 degrees, but particularly the sun in Sagittarius, you're a very lucky person because the good fortune that comes from Jupiter, your ruler, can come through even more strongly if there is a close link with that eclipse for you. Now, of course, you may have a personal planet in another fire or air sign, which would also provide support to that transition. Now, that's going to provide a backdrop of energy through to the end of the first five and a half months of 2021. So this is probably the most important event for you for many years. 
Uh, really, it's that good. And then on the 15th, if you have been sort of a bit unsure about what to do about your love life and you're wanting a fresh start or you're wanting to give a relationship a new chance or you wanted to give yourself a glamorous makeover, Venus moving into your sign is brilliant, especially for the Christmas season. Now, of course, mixing and mingling and clinches under the mistletoe may be strictly off the festive fair at least as far as the rules are concerned, but I think your charisma can attract a lot of goodness your way. Now on the 17th, Saturn, the grim uh, reaper of the zodiac, you know, this can be a dark influence, but it moves out of your sector of self-worth and your everyday immediate earnings. I think it's almost entirely possible that some form of income has dried up over the last couple of years, or you've had to adapt quite skillfully in some kind of way, perhaps due to COVID, perhaps it was before then. But I think Saturn moving into your third house is going to emphasise your thinking skills, your learning skills, your knowledge. So if you have knowledge to share, or you want to be a trainer, or you want to grapple with technology more successfully, you might already be in technology. But I think Saturn moving into that area is going to be incredibly important for you for the next two and a quarter years. Also, uh, if you've yet to learn to drive or pass your motorcycle test, you may uh, really show a lot more commitment in that area in the months to come. But on the 19th, your ruler Jupiter moves into Aquarius too. This hasn't happened since 1405. When they come together on the 21st, the winter solstice, it's that rare. And I do feel it's going to see a big shift in society. I feel that Capricornian energy it's very important for both the US and the UK uh, uh, charts, the mundane charts of each country, because the UK is very much a Capricornian country and the US a Cancerian country. So the polar axes of the eclipse series that we've had over the last few years have been quite, uh, quite tension building. So the move of into Sagittarius brings a lighter vibe to bear and... I feel that's something that you're going to really appreciate. There's going to be much more bubbliness around communication. And even if we're trying to deal with uh, COVID, I think for you, technology is something that even if you're a very free spirit, you might ultimately show more engagement with if it uh, enables you to get out, move around the world, travel. I, I feel even if you've had quite trenchant views against the whole concept of Big Brother and all the rest of it. To be honest, I think that Facebook and Google know so much about us anyway. You might think my view's naive, but I feel they do in the phone companies and all the apps. I wonder if having an app for COVID makes that much difference to our sense. You might profoundly disagree. But I just feel that you're going to really get a kind of inner flame that lights up, that really reignites your passion for all sorts of ways of going about life. You, you're going to feel a sense of enthusiasm. This can be a, a real new start for you. New thoughts are coming in, fresh ideas, even some of your belief systems that you've had fairly well established for a long time, perhaps in some cases since childhood, could really change over the next year in quite a radical way. Now on Christmas Day, I have to be honest, we see on the 21st also the Sun and Mercury move into your second house. So they move out of your sign, but they're very closely aligned. And then Mercury initially links because it's quicker with Uranus in your sector of work, which is asking you to be very open-minded about how you can approach the world of work and organization. And then as we come to the end of the year, it's the Sun's turn to forge a great link with Uranus. I think this is just saying to you, if you want to improve your finances, you will need to be flexible, learn new skills, be very open-minded, go with the flow, but you're very, very good at that anyway. And your communicational skills, particularly with colleagues, neighbours, siblings, really are given a huge uh, extra spark of vibrancy. So I think people can be really drawn to you, especially with Venus in your sign. And then as we come to the end of the year, there is a full moon in the eighth house for you, which is about long-term resources. But it's a full moon that you can deal with, I feel. It's just about being realistic. We've had such a burn-in, haven't we, uh, in 2020. 
the last two weeks of this year, as I said before, don't be too free and easy with your resources because of Mars and Pluto being in a square. And that's a kind of last echo of the nasty energies that have really dominated 20. Um, but as you come into the end of this year, believe me, whatever is going on with COVID, it's clearly going to be around for some time. We are going to have to get used to living with it. We are going to have to adapt. But if there's any sign that's good at adapting but still being enterprising, it's you. So have real maximum faith in what you can achieve in 2021. And please join me for your uh, yearly forecast if you've yet to grab that uh, by seeing the link beneath this video. But for now, wishing you a very happy Christmas. Stay safe, take care, good luck and goodbye.